Hi, my name is Mike McFadden. I'm a high school teacher and starting today a YouTuber. Today what I want to do is talk to you about three things that have brought me value this past week. First up is a book by James Clear called Atomic Habits. Now James Clear is a writer that I've been following for many years. I actually found him by um, accidentally copying his uh, website design for my own personal one. Now actually I was copying somebody else's website who was copying James Clear, but that uh, individual had actually reached out to James Clear and got permission to do so. And I reached out to that guy. And so uh, by the transit of property, I also had permission. My website currently is modeled after Gary Vee's, but I'm getting off of topic. In his book, Atomic Habits, uh, there's two key points that I wanna talk about today. The first is the difference between setting goals and creating systems in order to reach goals. Uh, Clear identifies that if you set a goal to, let's say, run 100 miles per month, if you come up short, then you're gonna perceive yourself to be a failure. And it's gonna make it much more difficult to say, run 100 miles in the following month. However, if you set up a system that allows you to run three to four miles every single day, and you follow that system, by the end of the month, you're going to have reached 100 miles, thus making it much more likely that you will habitually run 100 miles every single month. Clear also talks about the role that identity plays in forming habits. So instead of trying to set some sort of arbitrary goal of reaching a milestone, uh, Clear suggests making that part of who you are, making the thing that you want to do part of your being. And so instead of trying to reach some milestone that you might fall short of reaching and then, you know, not continue to do in the future, you become the type of person who runs uh, every single day. The next thing that I want to talk about is a Google Chrome extension called the Distraction Free Mode. Now, I really love Google Docs. Um, I love uh, the sort of collaborative nature. In 2008, when I saw a video showing students working on the same document at the same time, I was like, oh, this makes so much sense and this is the perfect tool for educators and for students. Uh, but one of the things that I don't like about it or really any word processor is that it is about as sexy as a word processor, which is not at all. Uh, the distraction free mode changes that. Uh, what it does is it hides all of the tools, leaving you with basically a blank canvas with a single cursor. Now you do have to learn all sorts of keyboard shortcuts in order to uh, center justify or write align text uh, in, in order to change from like normal text to heading text. But once you learn those, uh, you have just sort of like world of opportunity open and available to you. And it takes a tool that you already know very well and it allows you to use it in unique circumstances. Uh, for example, I like to use it during creative writing. I actually use it when I was writing the script for this first episode of this vlog. One of the things that I do to make it even better is I set some default text settings. So for example, I'm currently obsessed with a font called Roboto and it comes in a bunch of different weights. The uh, body font that I like to type in is Roboto Light, size 14. And then my various heading fonts are uh, Roboto Medium. I'll make my template file available in the show notes below so that you can make that your default setting for your own Google Docs. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about in this first ever vlog is uh, Ali Abdel. Ali Abdel is a YouTuber and a medical doctor, uh, and I've just totally fallen down this content hole that he has uh, created. And now one of the things that's unique about him is that he has this totally mainstream and normal uh, profession being a medical doctor um, in uh, the UK. Uh, but on the side, he is a very successful YouTuber. I think he recently uh, reached 600,000 subscribers. And what I like about this is that it, it's this really interesting juxtaposition uh, where he's doing this one thing on this side that's totally straight and narrow, um, but on the other side, he's doing this thing that is is totally new. And I've never seen a doctor or somebody from like this mainstream profession is also doing this YouTube thing. Um, that's actually the inspiration for me to start this vlog today. Uh, you know, there's no reason that uh, you know I, I can't do this if, if he's doing it as well. For years, I've generated content that I've posted to YouTube, and most recently I hit 100 subscribers um, by accident on my teacher YouTube channel, but I've never really used it for the sake of creating content. It's always served uh, a purpose to sort of enhance my instruction, to create screencasts and other tutorials. Sometimes if I'm sick or absent, um, I'll you know create a tutorial so the students can sort of learn from me um, when I have a substitute teacher, but I've never really focused on creating content for the sake of creating content. And that's what I'm trying to do with this vlog on my personal channel. 
is to uh, get better at producing video content. So that's writing scripts, that's setting up lighting, that's using my camera, that's using audio equipment properly and better. I also wanna get better at editing and I also wanna get better at feeling comfortable speaking to a camera. I think for many people, it's really awkward to do so. Um, I've had some experience doing this, but uh, I'd like to get better. If you are interested in diving down the content rabbit hole that is Ali Abdul, um, I would recommend a specific video uh, titled Three Books That Changed My Life. Um, and those books feature uh, Tim Ferriss' Four Hour Work Week, uh, Derek Sivers' Anything You Want, and then Austin Kleon's Show Your Work. Now these are all books that I have also read, but Ali does a good job of outlining why they were meaningful to him and how they impacted his life. So that pretty much sums up the three things that have brought me value this week, and I hope that they bring you value as well. Thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button.